think. The old iron horse is climbing the hill. We are going to our first bunker biker tonight. So the game of Tetris begins. We are in Grand Junction on our way to Utah for the night. Utah, here we come, putting you, some miles on. Putting some miles on the next couple days. Yep. All right, cheers. Grand Mesa dust. Yeah. How much air are you putting in? Oh, I don't know. Probably 55 or so. She just feels heavy or light in the front, front end. So I want to make sure the back end is got plenty of air. It was almost 40 psi. I think when I was real happy is when this was about 53. Here we are. The old iron horse is climbing the hill. So if you see all this stuff in front of us, um, it's not rain. It's dust. It looks like dust, yes. And it feels like dust in my eyeballs. Yes. So we're about ready to go right through a dust storm. We think this is not dust. Some of, yeah. it's, some of it's dust, absolutely. But we also think there's a fire around here somewhere. So we, so we can smell smoke and it's pretty, yeah, it, it pretty smells, bad. It smells like smoke. My yeah. eyes are burning. Yeah. And we just saw a sign. We just passed a sign that said 45 miles an hour wind. Use extreme caution. Yeah, 45 mile an hour plus. Yes. So we are trying desperately to hightail it. We've got 40 some miles to go to get into some shelter and get out of this wind. That's the yeah. plan. Not always, not always super pleasant no. when you're making a road trip. No. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a country road. I should yeah. make a think should make a country song about that. I think John Denver did. Oh, okay. Can take me home. Okay, <laughs> country, country road. Country road. <laughs> Damn, there went my first million. 30 mile an hour sustained winds, crosswinds directly 90 degrees on us. It'd be directly on the side. So yeah. we, well, we knew it would happen. We, after two months on the road, we knew we'd finally we knew get we'd rain. Finally get rain. <laughs> we we chased, we chased the the sunshine, and it's yes. the rain has finally caught up to us. Yes, it has, and we have all day to ride. But this is what I'm excited about. What? Not that we're advertising addresses or anything, but we are going to our first Bunker Biker tonight. Yes, Bunker Biker. And Check them out, the yes. website. It's a website. It's Bunker. a Facebook group. Facebook group. Yes. Well, she's also got a website that has a map with all these pins dropped on it. And all the pins indicate, and the color of the pin indicate if you've got a, a spare bedroom or a place just for a tent, a garage to do some work if you need to do a little work on your bike or something. Yeah. And it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird just calling up and inviting yourself over to a stranger's house. So well, it was an automatic <laughs> invite. True. It's automatically oh, invited. Yeah. You're an invited. You're automatically invited True. if you're if you're on the map. So. True. And it's zero cost. If they charge you, you get kicked out of the group. Oh really? Yep. Oh. And that's what Thanks. Z does. And this is run by Z Traveler. Thank yep. you, Z, for setting this up. We're looking forward to it. Yep. Awesome. I don't know where I'm going either. I can't see it. Here she goes. Look at this way. I know it's July. I'm freezing my ass off. Do you know what the name of this town is? Snowville. Yeah. <laughs> so apropos. Yeah. I am dressed like a snow bear. I know. It's, it's cold. <laughs> it's almost July and it's my dashboard. Here. The temperature on my dashboard says. Below 40. And rain. And rain. All day. So maybe we should get gas here. Alright, so 
so the game of Tetris begins. We haven't done full on grocery shopping for quite a while. Actually, we ran our supplies down to like nothing. So we're here at Walmart in Meridian, Idaho. We're gonna stock back up, hit the road, head for camp spot. Wish us luck, I'm fitting all of that. We're here, we're there, we're mine. Who knows where we're gonna stick it. <laughs> we're gonna put it somewhere and then we're gonna eat it. Ta-da! It all magically disappeared. Union Oregon. Creek. We made it to Oregon. Yay! <laughs> <coughs> Union Creek Campground about 20 miles outside of Baker City on the east coast of Oregon. Yes. And if you think it's, oh, February, March, nah. As bundled up as we are. <laughs> it's July. No, it's July 2nd. Okay, let's count. Let's count. Hold on. One, two, three. Three shirts. All long sleeve. All warm. Wool socks, jacket, <laughs> and a fire, sweater, t-shirt. Yeah. So in our travels, we've gone through several springs. We have yet to find summer. Yes, we need summer. <laughs> we need a summer. Anyway, we're here. We're slowing down. We did a big push and went through a lot of states, went through several states, hit um, Utah, hit Idaho, ran right through them. And uh, now we're in Oregon and we're going to slow down and see what Oregon's got to uh, give us. And what are we talking about? We're talking about dinner. I'm starving. Okay, so we have chicken thighs with the skin on because... That's, that's her favorite. Uh, I love chicken thighs with the skin on. <laughs> and asparagus. And we'll make some rice. Here's the thing we wanted to talk about. <laughs> why, why, why do we want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> These are little sticks. Yeah, we and want to keep the chicken thighs off of the bottom of the cast iron skillet that we cook with. Yes. So we can roast that chicken yes. for a while and set it down. Here is our chicken thighs that need to cook a little longer. What I think I want to do is take these and put the chicken on top of the asparagus. I don't know if you can see, but I do. I love chicken thighs, <laughs> especially fried. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we learned the neatest trick. Check this out. <laughs> dryer sheets. Dryer sheets give you the illusion you're clean. <laughs> I got dryer sheets in the <laughs> in the sleeping bags. I've got dryer sheets in my clothes bag. I, I, I'm probably going to rub dryer sheets under my armpits. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs>